if you are watching this video that means you also want to know how to edit in apple ui style it's super viral these days everyone love this animation so much because it's super clean and minimal just like apple so after watching today's tutorial i bet you that you don't have to watch any other tutorials because i have covered almost everything in this tutorial and here's the animation we are going to create Lastly, all the assets that are used in this video can be found in my Discord server, so don't forget to join it. Now let's jump straight to the animation. So alright, we start with creating a white solid layer which we use as a background and then we select the square shape layer and make a square shape like this and go to this rectangle option and rectangle part and increase the roundness until you get a same rounded edge like this. So we use this shape layer as a card background and we change this color to a dark grey color. And you also copy this hex code so you will get the exact same color. Now duplicate your shape layer and I am also going to rename the base layer so we can easily find it. Now simply move this behind to wallet shape layer and I'll also rename it because we will going to use so many layers. Simply move this layer to little upward and also change the color to a light red color. You can also copy the hex code. Now do the same thing again simply duplicate the layer and move it little more upward but this time change the color to a green color. Now move this layer behind to the first shape. Now last one more time do the same thing again just simply change the color to a blue color like this one. Now our apple wallet base is ready just simply add drop shadow in your shape layers and then adjust direction for me I am using minus 10 and, and adjust the distance 15 to 20 percent and also increase the softness. And always keep the low opacity then copy this drop shadow and paste it to every other shape layer. Now we add text layer and we name it wallet and simply change font style to medium and by the way I am using SF Pro font which you can be found in my discord server. Now simply adjust it and scale it down and place it top right corner. So next we add credit amount which is 50 million something and then we add this money back emoji which you can found in my asset pack. And now simply scale it down and adjust it right before your credit amount. Next we have to create a loading animation so we simply add a ellipse tool and create a rectangular shape like this. Simply go to this rectangle option then rectangle part and increase roundness until you get a rounded edges like this. Then we add a circle shape layer and create a circle shape like this in the top left corner. Then we add a plus sign like this simply place it in the middle of your circle shape layer. Right now I am renaming all of my layers so we can easily found every layer so we can't mess everything. So right now we have to add a MX card so we simply download this PNG and bring it in our timeline. And simply we place it right here like this. So right now I have to adjust all of my layers so we can easily place it properly. So after adjusting all of the layers it will look like this. Now we add a null layer and simply select all of the layers and parent it with the null layer. So now we can animate every layer in single time by using null layer. Now select this wallet layer which is our black shape layer and give keyframe to position and add a out animation like this. Now select both keyframes and apply this flow preset like this. Once you done this just simply copy these keyframes and apply in every other layers but keep one frame distance in every keyframe. So we get a one by one animation like this. Like right now I am leaving one frame distance. So the animation will come with a one by one frame. Now select all the text and images and parent it with this wallet shape layer. I feel I have to rename it because it's great confusion between wallet text and wallet shape layer. So I am gonna rename it and we call this black shape layer. Now we add a effect called blur and fade in in our amount text layer which is this one. So it will basically look like this. Now we select this pen tool and create a straight line between the loading layer and change the stroke color to a green color and increase the stroke radius and now add a gaussian blur on it and increase the blur amount so we get a blurry edges like this now select your shape layer and click on this toggle switch option and track mate your shape layer with the bar layer now simply we drag this where's your bar layer and now we enable this layer and click on this add button and add a trim path and keep end value to zero and add some keyframe and move first keyframe to the starting point and simply increase the end value to 100%. Now simply select both keyframes and add flow plugin so it will become more smoother. 
and here's the expression that we will going to use for bouncing effect so simply copy it and by the way i already added this expression in asset pack which you can found in my discord server so don't forget to join it so for applying this effect simply add a scale keyframe and your first keyframe value always be less than your second keyframe value like in my case i set first keyframe value to 0 and second is 100 and after this select both keyframes and press alt in your keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon now here you can simply paste your expression and simply move it closer for smoother animation and as you can see our card is bouncing right now now simply copy these keyframes and paste it in our wallet text layer now the both layers are bouncing now simply select black shape layer and go to layer style and add a satin effect and then turn off this invert button now we again go to the layer style and this time we add babel and emboss now here you can see by adding babel and satin effect it's create a kind of puffed white line which look perfect in our shape layer and then we select all these three background shape layers and then parent this with the black shape layer and now for ending this card animation we simply add a position keyframe and a scale keyframe and then make a down animation same like this and next we have to make this car arriving animation so for this we simply create a rectangular type shape like this then we simply increasing its roundness little bit then we create a straight line by using pen tool and its stroke should be 7% now we simply add a car png which is pause and here's our car we simply drag it in our timeline and adjust it at the starting point of line and here's I also add a pause logo you can also add this one and increase your black shape layer to full size like this now we add a null layer and parent all your layers with the null layer now we simply add a scale keyframe then move your timeline slightly ahead then scale down your animation like this and we will select all the layers and move them to that point where the card animation ends now the animation will look like this Okay so here's we need a fade in effect by using opacity keyframes for smoother animation. So simply we add two opacity keyframes and set first keyframe value to 0 and second to 100. Now we move into the car PNG simply we add a position keyframe and move it slightly ahead and move first keyframe value to the left side. Now select this keyframe and apply flow plugin. It's too fast right now so simply we add distance between both keyframes. Now we will move timeline at that point where the animation comes to end. Simply move the car animation to its end point. Now the animation will look like this. Now the zoom out was too late so for fixing this issue, simply we select both keyframes and drag it slightly earlier. Now we select a ellipse tool and create a end point like this and we change its color with a red color. Now parent this layer with the null layer so it will automatically animate. Now add a scale keyframe on car layer and move your timeline slightly earlier and change its value to 0 and then hold the alt button and press this stopwatch icon and then simply paste that bounce expression here. Adjust this keyframe where you want and move it slightly closer for smooth and fast animation. Now will look like this. Alright so next I added two text. First is arriving soon and second is your Porsche on its way. So simply adjust both of them same like this. Then we add a effect in our second text layer which is this word rampler and you can found it in the asset pack. So basically it will look like this and we will apply the same effect to the arriving soon text and then simply adjust both text accordingly. Now we apply the babel and emboss to the base layer and we change its size to 3% and I am also going to rename it and change its name to the base layer now select all these layer except the base one and enable this toggle switch option and track mate them with the base layer now the animation will look like this now it's time to morphing this animation into the next one are you guys ready to learn how to create a morphing animation exactly like this one so simply we expand our shape layer and in the rectangle part option you will find size position and roundness keyframe. So simply apply both position and size keyframe and disable this link option. So we will easily morph this layer. Then simply move your timeline slightly ahead and then simply using size X and Y keyframes try to create a box type shape. And also increase roundness for smoother corners. Next we select all these layers and add a position keyframe and then move your timeline and add a 1x1 one one down animation like this. 
Now we again select all these layers and remove this extra part. Now select all these keyframes and make a easy ease by pressing F9 in your keyboard. Let's see how our animation will look. Alright so animation is slightly faster so let me adjust it first. Now it's time to add a 3D element, definitely it's going to be a apple watch. So simply you can search apple watch 3D and I am using this free website called sketchfab. You can also find so many assets in their website and today I am going to use this watch. Always download your assets in glv file format. So simply we drag it in our timeline. Now we are just object scale for increasing its size. Next we simply trim out the extra part, something like this. Now we add a scale keyframe and move it slightly ahead and add another keyframe to the starting point and change its value to 0. Now do the same thing, select both keyframes, enable the expression mode and then simply copy the same bounce expression and paste it here. Then simply move it closer for smooth animation. Now next we can add all the rotation keyframes like X, Y, Z and all kind of rotation. Now next we have to do is simply move randomly keyframes in few frames gap. Try to make a smooth rotation animation that's how I am doing right now. So this thing basically you have to try by yourself. That's how you make smooth animation. Now we move our timeline at the starting point of watch layer and then we select our base layer and make a trim on it. So we do this because we have to add some effect on it but we don't have to add same effect in arriving soon animation. So that's why we trim this layer. Now we select the new base layer and go to the layer style option and add inner glow and increase its size something around 40 to 50% and change its color to a white color and decrease the opacity around 10% something. Next we add a satin effect on it and then we simply expand this and turn off this expand button and next we increasing its size around 100%. Next we select this rectangle shape layer and create a rectangle type shape like this and increase its roundness as maximum as you can. Next we change its fill option to a linear gradient and by using this anchor line make a gradient like this. Next we simply change its color so first color should be a blue color and second is more darker than previous one. Next we simply move it below the shape layer, then right click on it, go to the layer style option and add inner glow. And then simply increase its size around 20% and keep all the settings as it is. And next we add a drop shadow and then increase its distance. You can also adjust the angle point and change its color to a gray color and adjust the opacity according to you if it's required. So in my case everything looks perfect so I didn't change opacity. Just I slightly adjust distance and everything good to go. And lastly we add a by text and adjust it between your shape layer. And then we select both shape layer and text layer and make a pre-comp and change its anchor point to bottom of the shape layer. And then simply we trim out the extra part. Next we simply add bounce effect so we again do the same rule. Simply add a scale keyframe and move it slightly ahead. Then again add another keyframe and change its value to 0%. Next we enable the expression bar and simply copy and paste the same expression and it will bounce like this. Then we parent link apple watch layer with base to layer and also parent link the buy button as well. So next we going to add a bounce out animation. Simply add a scale keyframes where your animation going to be end. And also keep the anchor point at the bottom of your animation. And then simply scale down your animation until it disappears. And enable the expression bar and apply the same bounce expression. Now it is done and our animation will look like this. And our next animation will look like this and it's pretty simple to create. So firstly we have to make a highway. Simply we select a rectangle tool and create a rectangle line like this. Then change its fill option to solid color. And for color we use a gray type shade like this one. And simply we duplicate this layer and move it to other side. Next we have to make a center part. So use pen tool for this and create a straight line between both layers. And disable its fill option and add a stroke. And here we also use the same gray color. Next we increasing its stroke something around 30 to 40% basically it depends on your shape layer. Next go to the stroke option and here you can see a dashes option. Simply click on this plus icon. Then increase this dashes amount until it feel like real highway something like this one and adjust it and scale it down properly and select all these three layers and make a pre-comp 
and add a motion tile effect on it. Now as you can see basically it's repeating all the animation again and again. Now here you can see a tile center option simply click on this stopwatch icon and move your timeline few frames ahead and simply drag it like this. So it's basically add a motion animation in your highway layer. So when we place our car PNG on it, it's feel like car is running. Now let's add our car PNG. Simply adjust it properly in between your highway. And next we add a position keyframe and move it slightly ahead and add another keyframe and make it down animation like this. And simply make it easy ease and adjust both keyframes accordingly for a smoother animation. Next we move our timeline a few seconds ahead and move it slightly upward direction like this. And as you can see it's look like a car running on a highway. And next we have to add a apple memoji uh, which look like this. And if you think how I make this one so it's pretty simple. Simply you have to add a circular shape like this and for this triangle arrow I use pen tool for making a triangle type shape exactly like this and your shape layer is ready now and for this memoji you can find this type of character all over the internet. Simply download your favorite memoji and use it whenever you want. Simply parent link this with the car layer and now it will follow the car motions and next we have to add a text so we simply add a random text like Elizabeth. So when your text align with your car motion so at the same point simply parent it with your car layer and now it will also follow the motion. And lastly we add a blur ramp effect in our text animation and as I told you so many times you can found this text present in my asset pack which you can found in my discord server. And next we simply expand our text animation and here you can found a blur option. Simply increase its value and you will get blur like this. Next simply decrease the text opacity so it will look more minimal. Next add a drop shadow in your car PNG and increase its softness so it will basically create a shadow type effect in your car layer. And lastly we have to create a message UI animation and it's very easy to make. So let's move on to the animation screen. So firstly we create a shape like this with the white background and I am creating this shape by using rectangle tool and simply increase its roundness as maximum as you can and simply expand your shape layer and here you will found this rectangle part 1. Simply right click on it and click on this convert to bezier part and click H button in your keyboard and zoom in your shape like this. Now when you select your shape layer you will see the part area so simply select your pen tool and create a two point like this and add another point in the middle and simply stretch it like this and hold this one line and rotate it like this. Alright next we add our text layer which is why do they fail and then we adjust it between your message UI and also we change its color to a white color. And I am going to rename the shape layer to message UI and next we simply duplicate it and then right click your duplicated layer and go to transform and simply click on this flip horizontal option. Now we adjust both layer properly like a message UI and we change first message color to a gray color like this one and we duplicate the text and place it over the first text layer and I also change the second text and then we change first text color to a dark gray color exactly like this one and then we add another text layer and that is I message and simply decrease its opacity to 70% something and duplicate it and bring it right here and here I am going to add place and time. So adjust both layer properly and decrease its opacity to 40 to 50%. Next select the first text and its shape layer then pre comb them and do the same thing with second text simply select both text and shape layer and make a pre comb and go inside the pre comb layer. Then we add word ramp effect to the text layer and then go inside the text layer and here you will find animation one option and here you will get this keyframe simply select both keyframes and make it easy ease and move it closer. And after this we apply the same method to the second pre comp like we simply add the word ramp effect to the text layer and then go inside in your text layer and select all these keyframes and make it easy ease and also move it closer for smoother animation. Now select first text layer and set its anchor point exactly right here. Now here we need to add a bounce effect. So we add a scale keyframe and move it slightly ahead and add another keyframe with zero scale value. And then we simply enable the expression bar by pressing alt and right click. And then we simply copy paste the same expression here. Let me move it more closer. And firstly copy these keyframes and next we do the same thing with the second pre comp simply adjust its anchor point exactly right this corner and paste that copied keyframes right here and now it's automatically add bounce effect. 
So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. Lastly, just a quick reminder, all the asset I use in this video can be found in my Discord server. So don't forget to join it. Link in the description. And lastly, thank you for the stay connected. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.